This video of the planned extension of Alcane Resources' Tommingley Gold Project represents the development scenario considered for its environmental impact and submitted for project approval. Ongoing consultation with a wide range of people and stakeholders may yet shape this design further. The Tommingley Gold Project is located about five hours drive west of Sydney. Discovered by Alcane in the 2000s, the project was developed in 2013 and has been pouring gold on site since early 2014. The mine site straddles the Newell Highway and ore is transported through a purpose-built underpass. Open pit mining finished in 2019 and mining has transitioned to an underground operation beneath the open pits at Wyoming 1 and Coloma. In recent years, Alcane has discovered substantial mineralization to the south of the mine, in particular at the Roswell and San Antonio deposits. Both of these are within five kilometers of the operating processing plant and are proposed to be developed to extend the mine life of the operations at Tommingley. The red shapes shown here represent the location of the underground gold mineralization if it was vertically projected to the surface. The mineralization inside the existing open pits has been largely mined out. The waste rock from the mine has been placed and shaped into two landforms to the east and north of the existing mine. Using environmental best practices, the rehabilitation of the waste rock emplacements with established vegetation is largely complete. Built in 2013, the processing facility is capable of milling over 1 million tonnes of ore per year and passes it through a conventional cyanide leach process to recover the gold. It is intended to expand its capacity to over 1.5 million tonnes of ore per year. The gold is poured at site before being securely transported to a refinery. The tailings are sent through a cyanide destruction circuit before being stored in a conventional residue storage facility. The four mined open pits are substantial deposits that continue at depth. Both Wyoming 3 and Coloma 2 have been progressively backfilled as part of rehabilitation for the site. A portion of each of the resources continues under each open pit. The Wyoming 1 and Coloma deposits are currently being mined underground beneath the mined out pits and continued underground mining is planned for the years ahead. The currently planned underground development and stopes are being mined using conventional modern underground mining methods. Ore is hauled by trucks up the decline and to the processing plant. With a large volume of material in excess of 2 grams per tonne of gold, the resource is well suited to underground extraction. The resource is both open at depth and a long strike to the south, so future extensions to the Wyoming 1 and Coloma underground mines are possible. Development has commenced to join the Wyoming 1 decline to the planned underground mining beneath the Coloma 1 and Coloma 2 open pits. Numerous stopes are planned at both Coloma and Coloma 2, targeting the higher grade sections of the underground ore body. Both deposits have higher grade chutes, substantial resources and are open at depth and a long strike. The existing Tommingley Gold operations have sizable underground mining planned and have potential to grow as they are further developed in the years ahead. An approved exploration drive is being developed from Wyoming 1 to the Roswell deposit. The historic Miles United Mine, which produced approximately 70,000 ounces, is a planned exploration target. Roswell has numerous high-grade intercepts and has a defined indicated and inferred resource of 10.1 million tonnes at 2.04 grams per tonne for 660,000 contained ounces of gold. The Roswell resource is open at depth and a long strike. The San Antonio ore body is closer to the surface than Roswell and has several distinct high-grade plunging chutes. San Antonio has an indicated and inferred resource of 7.3 million tonnes at 1.7 grams per tonne for 406,000 contained ounces of gold. The San Antonio resource is also open at depth and a long strike. Infill and extensional drilling at Roswell and San Antonio has the potential to result in further increases in resources. Conceptual mine plans were prepared for community, stakeholder and regulatory consultation. After feedback was received and incorporating design changes to minimise impacts, the current plans were developed. 
The current conceptual plan consists of a series of three connected open pits, approximately 1,700 metres long and 700 metres wide in total, as well as underground mining planned beneath the pits. A waste rock emplacement to the west that also extends and backfills the two southern pits of the new development is planned. In addition, the existing open pits at Coloma would be backfilled. A new tailing storage facility to the south of the existing facility is already approved. This would be increased in capacity by lifting its height. A Newell Highway and Kyolite Road will be diverted as shown. Water diversion structures designed to manage water flow with minimal impact on velocity will be placed around the site. With substantial resources beneath the mined out open pits and also to the south at San Antonio and Roswell, it is an exciting time as this development has the potential to extend the life of the mine and employment at the Tommingley Gold operation beyond 2030 and see production ramped to over 100,000 ounces per year. Alkane looks forward to ongoing community consultation and continuing a safe and environmentally friendly operation while progressing the development of its extensive exploration discoveries.